I love, I love when Football Manager throws something new at you that you've not seen when you've been playing in a while. The club receives a takeover approach because our, our owner has said he wants to get out, like, multiple times, right? We've had two deals fall through with the same, uh, whatever the last name was, Nancy or whatever, or Grace, or something like that. Um, the Irish Football Express is reporting that an unnamed investor is looking to buy a controlling stake in the club, possibly with the view of floating the club on the stock market? What? Samuel L. in the comments pointed out that in episode 119, I promised to show Frank the Tank's eligibility, but I did not. And then I had already uploaded episode 120 when I saw his comment. So here we are in episode 121. I've, I've already played. I'm not going to show you. the. We're, you can look at the date. Like, we've already played the game. But Frank, 207 days left. Oh, come on. Germany, stay away. Just stay away. I know it's the Euros. Just stay away. That's the only thing we have to worry about. And then we are calling him straight up if he's interested. You'd think he loves me. You'd think. Right? Really think we need to be busting the chops of our commercial folks. 93 grand in sponsorship. Just not enough. Now, you could say it's the Irish market. There's not a lot of money to go around. All things told, I mean, okay, two-year deal worth 140K. Previously, it was 35K. So we've, you know, maybe maybe I would mm, beat finances. Okay, so we got a yeah, 71 grand. I mean, I guess that's better. It's double, right? It was 35 grand a year, and now it's 71 grand. Um, I'm not sure if these are new or old. I guess they're old because this says, what well, says three new years, three new deals. I really don't think that's enough. But, you know, it's better than what we had. So going from 35K to 70K for the main kit sponsor. Hospitality's doing all right. It's it hospitality would be much larger if we owned our own stadium that was larger than 2000 seats, right? Like we're renting our stadium. We can't buy, I mean, we could buy it, but like, would you really want to buy that when you could just build somewhere else? Um, match day commercial. I think that's impressive, right? 123 K for most of our games being played at a 2000, uh, not even is it 2000 seater. I don't even think it's all 2000. You can sit in. 200 seated. I think that's like really, that's a lot of selling kits. Um, broadcast revenues up 450 grand. Obviously competition prize money. Total merch sales 23.64 with non-domestic sales being 10% of that. So way to go, people not in Ireland. 379 shirts with the following shirts selling particularly well. Gavin Wilkinson still number one. Hayes Ward, surely he takes over this year. Mal Lane, we got the three strikers, Gleason, the attacking midfielder, and Harry White with a Y. So that's what's going on there. New scouting budget, 51 grand, whoop de doo um, We are trying to loan out David Brady to Limerick. I know we've got Limerick supporters in the uh, the comments. Say hi. Um, only did it till uh, it's essentially six months, right? Until the next window. So when we get into continental competition, we can pull him back. So want to see if we can get him definitely like a bunch of starts now. I guess I should have looked. Did they? Oh, they just got relegated. No. Yes. I guess it hasn't finished yet. So I don't think they're... I don't think they're... Uh, they're solidly in fifth. So maybe he'll be the reason they can they can jump up. So um, we've had good experience loaning players to Limerick. So we, we get that relationship. I'm going to send you my guy. You got to play him. You got to play him, okay? We signed this guy. Did I remember that we signed this guy? So we signed Sean Murphy. Did I show that? I don't... Okay. Kian Mbappe has won FIFA Best Men's Player, which shouldn't that be called the Ballon d'Or? But anyway, Ryan Cassidy has picked up Irish Player of the Season. Watford, 45 appearances, 21 goals, and assist on a 6-9-9. How'd they end up? They're currently 15th. They ended, I guess, last, okay, the middle of the season, right? 11th, so 15th. Not, um, not great. You could argue, though, five points from relegation. But Wilkinson and Gary Hayes Ward getting the the runners up 
I think that's impressive, right? You've got a guy in the Premier League and then two players in the Irish Premier League getting Irish player of the season. Kelvin Bello gets under 21 player of the year, 22 appearances, 14 goals, five assists, seven, four, one, just absolutely crushing it, lads. Um, and then you got Martin O'Neill, who we've called up, right? Yes. This is the guy that we're building around. Oh, look at that. I mean, that's for hours. But no, that's national team. Oh, my goodness. Quite good. Barry Andrews. How you doing, mate? Who are you? Yeah, what's up, Barry? Hello, Barry. You might... I mean, he's not very good. Yeah, he's not very good. Um, Michael McGuire with Irish Young Player of the Year, as we, as we know and love. Playing in a... I can't believe... We've been playing him up here or over here, and they're using him as a as, as a defensive right back slash wing back would be my guess. But I guess it makes sense. So maybe we that's maybe that solves our our right back problem. Kelvin Bello and Eric O'Connor that we've already um yes 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 cap tied yes we have um needs to continue developing, but you know he's on loan from Vancouver at Shamrock, and I'm guessing that comes to an end. It does. So will they extend? What happens there? Or will he will he get some MLS minutes? So that's what's going on there. Our uh, our folks that are leaving, you know, Collins that they keep turning down contracts. I'm like, guys, I got I got I got bad news for you. You're you're not gonna get a contract with us. But good luck. As expected, my friends, we are the top team in Ireland. Bohemians has taken quite the tumble, is what the report said. They are below Derry City, who are in the first division. But they won the title, so they're coming back up. I guess that's why, right? Like, Bohemian... Is Bohemian going down? Yes, they're going down. So they're going down. Derry's coming... I guess that, that makes sense now, doesn't it? Ireland best 11. Cassidy was picking the players. Okay. Starting 11. This pretty much looks like our starting 11 currently. Yep. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I guess so. Ah, yay. So yeah, apparently I signed this Sean Murphy guy. Yeah. I'm thinking he's more one for the future, but I did sign to do a rotation contract. I mean, he's got good potential, right? So we just need to, uh, you know, develop him s somewhat. Yeah. Let's put him on defense. I think that's going to be more his uh, his bag. Yeah. We do need, uh, you know, how about pos Yeah, about no. sure. No, 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 no. Acceleration. We want as quick. Yeah, we got we to gotta work on that. So I'm hoping we can loan him out. D don't tell him that. He just signed. Okay. It's, a, it's between you and me. I love when we have expectations like this where it's like, well, first off, look at all the competitions, right? You got to scroll down to get to all of our competitions. So they want us to reach the group stage of the Europa League. Don't care about the Linsa Senior Cup. Quarterfinal of the Iron Brew Cup, which is, uh, obviously these are increases from last year. Win the league. Don't care about the, the essentially the League Cup, the EA Sports Cup, the President of Ireland's Cup. Don't care about any of that. Okay, you're the first knockout run. No change in budget. So if you want to change in budget, which I don't, you got to go to the second knockout round. If you want to change in budget here, you got to go to the final. That's absurd. So we're just going to accept winning the title and reaching the quarterfinal and the group stage because things, right? Um, I did adjust our transfer budget. It was like 2.4 million. I've dropped, uh, it's gone up uh, 470 grand, something like that into the scouting budget. That's the difference. And I have a scouting Europe for players 17 or younger. My thinking here, and let me know if I'm way off on this because I'm not a scouting expert. I just kind of play this game and, and do it from what I think makes sense from a narrative standpoint. But my thinking here is like if we can find some young studs, bring them in, we'll turn them into Irish national players. Like if, right, like have an opportunity to do that. We're not developing really good players right now. We, we just released a bunch um, that weren't going to make it. So let's essentially, while we're waiting on our youth recruitment to go up, Let's go do some youth recruitment ourselves and bring them in, see if we can get them national eligibility, right, in Ireland because they have to be here for, what, three, four years, whatever it is. So let's bring them in really young. That's what I'm, that, that's what I'm thinking. Let me know what your thoughts are. This is a random thing. This is a 35th best um, Irish Premier Division season 
on FM19. Is that good? I, I think that's good. So I'm going to try and adjust some of the leagues here. We've added Austria's top league, Belgium, Greece. We're dropping the Vanarama. I think we could probably drop league two, but I, for now we'll leave it. Let's see what it does. It doesn't save us any players, so we've already got them. Uh, we're going to drop the two Northern Ireland bottom ones. We're going to add Sweden, Russia, Romania, Turkey, Ukraine, and dropping two of the Scottish bottom leagues. Trying to, you know, since we're in more of the continental competitions, get a little bit more. I don't want to add every single competition because that's really going to bog things down, but just an update for you there. Here we go, my friends. Apparently, Paul Berry, he's English, makes you nervous. Trying to sink Ireland, I could tell. Um, worth 15.5 million. It's a proposal to take a controlling stake. It's not to outright buy it, just a controlling stake. And then he wants to float it on the stock exchange. Potentially lucrative funds for the club. How lucrative are we? Are we talking like 60 million? We're buying a stadium? Oh, transfer embargo. We're, 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 we, we're about to play our first friendly, so we're, we're plugging along. All right, my friends, here we go. Let's look at the transfer history. So we picked up Sean Murphy, one for the future, even though he's a rotation contract, one for the future. We might loan him out halfway through the season. Um, We've loaned out David Ray to Limerick, Tom Caffrey to Galway United, Aaron Brennan, who's our up-and-coming Gary Hayes Ward-ish guy. Um, we loaned him out to Wexford, all two, obviously, first division teams. Um, Charlie Rowan has gone for 3 k a month plus full wages to Swindon Town. He's going to he's gonna be there, well, six months, but it might be the end of the road. And then we've loaned Jim Fox to Crusaders up in Northern Ireland for six months because we've got a... A whole host of midfielders, and I want him getting um, six months worth of starts. So what our squad looks like, we're going to go with the 4-1-4-1. Gary Hayes Ward is out, so that's why you've got Mallow Elaine up top. Uh, but we've got the Harrys White and Galbraith, Thompson, Witte, Arthur, O'Connor, Erich, Davies. I, I've toyed around with Doyle, but Davies, you know, he did well for us last season. If we go back here to the Continental 10 starts, 706. He's all sevens. Like, I think he's earned the right to be in this, and he's got better crossing and stuff like that. So, and Janadu on defend. Um, that leaves us, if I kick over here, with Doyle on the left, Sean Flynn. Um, hopefully, Archer doesn't get injured because we've gone with John Smith, who's one of our new signings. Determination has already dropped. That's excellent. Um, good. That's always what you want to see, right? Um... So he's going to come off the bench. Again, like he hasn't played in the competition for us. So it's like, hey, we're going to bring you. You're going to be on the bench. We're going to get you used to it. Paul Russell has improved. Um, the, the papers are saying that uh, Paul Russell is a uh, Premier Division star. So that's interesting. We, we've got a host of midfielders. I think it's kind of a problem. Gary Gleason, if we were playing more attacking, would definitely start. Obviously, we can bring him off the bench to have an impact towards the end of the game. Gavin Wilkinson, who didn't get enough playing time in preseason. Um, but I trust him a little bit more than I do Kelvin Bello, who's also not match sharp. We actually had to, Ben Colley and Matt Capper have not been able to land follow-up loans, which is concerning. Um, but it was kind of a good thing because we loaned out David Brady and Aaron Brennan and some of these other guys. And, uh, we had to, <laughs> we had to register them for the Europa League, probably just for this one round because it's, I don't think we're going to get past Shakhtar, but, uh, it was a good thing they were here because they're at least half decent ben is the emergency right winger and capper is emergency they're, they're not coming so i guess that doesn't matter d benedetto i'm a little worried he's gonna get upset he's on a first team contract but he's not involved today either uh jack thompson and dejed spence also not involved so that's kind of what our squad looks like um they're favored yep anthony taylor yeah now ah, we sold like eight thousand tickets to this um weird thing it's at the Aviva, and it was there was something where it was asking, like we were going to have to adjust the size of our pitch. Um, yeah, we were like 105.85, something like that. We have had to drop it for the Europa League competition that we don't play at our own stadium to 105.68, which really obviously crimps the style of your wingers. So that was a weird thing. Um, let's see, the dimensions here are 105. 
90? Is that what it actually is? Or is that what it's like? It says 105, 68. Okay, so playing with wingers is a terrible idea, apparently. I, I'm a little surprised by that. So if we need to, we can bring Gleason and Wilkinson off the bench and go back to our 442. That's probably a better idea anyway, isn't it? We're going to leave it. I, I've set up pre, like we ran preseason. Our familiarity started off like right about here and it has slowly grown to be almost, well, okay. We got different players in different positions. So it's about the same as what we're supposed to be. Balance, playing out of defense, get stuck in. Elaine can play a target man. So it's the same idea, right? You ping it up if you need to. You got the onrushing wingers. Witty's been out with the flu. That's why his match sharpness is horrific. Um, hopefully it, it goes all right. Um, I'm not expecting much out of this game. But we're only going to play this one game today. We're going to do um, extended highlights. This is a massive potential game. Um, assertive. Uh, gives us a good chance in the second leg. Why would you be confused by that? I don't understand why that's confusing. I, I literally don't. Uh, he's just being rusty. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I don't understand why that would be confusing. I've had the sound off, all that kind of stuff. Why would, why would that be confusing? Hey, guys, don't lose 7 mil. Hey, guys, try not to give up an away goal, even if we don't score, right? If it's nil-nil, I'm going to be feeling pretty good. I did adjust the throw-ins. I have done that. on the, That's on the left side, not the side you're currently looking at that throw-in from. But we'll see if, it, if it's changed anything. I don't have five players standing out of bounds as part of my tactic. I know that's, you know, maybe a little bit unexpected based on what you've seen in videos, but that's not the case. Harry White with a critical tackle there to uh, stop that counter attack, my friends. Here we go. All right, we bossed it thus far. We got two shots. They have none. We got two on target. We got all the possession. We're seven minutes in. It's not like three minutes in. Like, geez, seven. That's so much more. Um, Thompson. Thompson. Oh, mate. You, you, you clatter off of them for a corner. Don't just stand. I hate when they stand on the ball. Erich, the Harry's white. Okay, Thompson plays it back to the Harry's white. Oh, cheeky outside of the foot. Her okay, uh, how? Whoa, 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 whoa! Did, did you? S Let's watch that again. Watch where he, where Elaine hits this ball. He has the entire left half of the goal open. We're gonna. Deering highlights. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay. Notice the keeper is in the middle. Right here. You 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 hit it. You hit it right 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 there, mate. Where does he hit it? Look at that. Look how much space there is. Is this a match engine thing? Why w is he going far netting? Is he going to the far post? What what are you doing with your life, man? Did the moment get to him? I can't believe that. I I can't believe that. Oh, the highlight continues apparently. Arthur pings it in. Okay, we go again. We had five shots. We should have had a goal by now. Oh, what's a poor pass, mate? Did you not see the guy in the bright orange and black kit? I know, I know he maybe blends in with the with the referee. No, he doesn't, because he's wearing orange. Oh, I, I was. I, I sh you should be a four point six. You should take the record for the low rating for a match from the Jed Spence. <sighs> that was terrible. I, 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 I'm gonna rant about that. I think I'm gonna just hope in 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 my heart of hearts. Uh, is that a red card? Oh, it looked like a red card highlight, right? Um, that that was a match engine mistake, and like the keeper was really more to the left because otherwise. We should just sell Mallow right now. We've played well. Come on, boys. Of course, I'll say we played well, and then they'll score. That's, we've had six shots. They've had two, and they're going to score right here. Oh, what a block by Arthur. Nice job. Elaine, don't worry. You don't have to, you don't have to run chase that down. That's fine. Nah, it's not worth... Oh. It's not like uh, we needed Witty or anything. Um, Gleason's going to come on. The, uh, you know, the uh, assistant manager told me that, uh, or maybe it was our data analyst or chief data analyst, somebody told me in my inbox, the 41311 
was really troubling them. So that's what we're, we're essentially replicating that, just not three in the middle. It's kind of like that. Um, we don't really, I mean, we could bring Harry White out here, but I mean, we've been on top of the game. I feel, I feel all right bringing in Gleason. Should have brought <laughs> uh, Ben Colley, whatever the right winger, the emergency right winger. So that's the other option is we could have, we could slide White out there, but he's left footed. So playing him as an inverted winger or advanced playmaker or a wide playmaker, I should say on the right, just doesn't, doesn't taste very good to me. Um, all right, passionate. Uh, keep it up. Y you haven't conceded. I'd like a goal, Mallow, but you've not conceded. So, sorry, I hit my mic there. Um, so I can't really complain, I guess. Let's go, boys. That's that's exactly the start you want to the second half. Just hashtag United. Just punt it down into the corner. Beautiful. Give them the ball. Right. Okay, Mallow, yeah, he's earning that 6.4, I think, right now. We're leaving him on, though, because we if we need to go take Thompson off and bring on another striker, to have two, right, to go to our 4-4-2 diamond, we kind of need to have two strikers, and we only have Mallow and Wilkinson on the bench. Come on, boys, don't, don't concede, don't concede, don't concede, don't concede, don't concede. Don't concede. Is this, do you talk to yourself when you're playing football manager? Like, are, are you talking to your team, or do you just sit there and just take it? I can't just sit here. Maybe it's because I've been YouTubing it for so long, but I, like, even if I'm not recording, I'm sorry, come on, boys, come on. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Like, I sit there while I'm sitting in... Yeah, anyway. Do you do that? Let me know in the comments. Gleason, heavy touch, mate. But, oh, it's part of the plan. Now he's open in space. Plays it to Thompson, who waits on it. Doesn't... Oh, that was poor, mate. He just stood there and waited for it to come to him. That's not what we're looking to do, mate. I'm, I'm good with a nil-nil draw. I, I would love to get a goal, but... If it goes nil-nil, then any goal we score is critical in the second leg, obviously. Um, Archer, please don't get sent off, mate. We need you in this game and next game, although that may be... I know we've had a bunch of yellows on the on the back line. Maybe those got reset? No, they didn't get reset because Wilkinson... Or no, Hayes Ward... Or is it only if you got it in the game? I I should probably know the rules, but okay. Davies, mate, what... He had all that space. He just first times it straight back to the keeper. Davies has got money on Shakhtar. I mean, I know we're not paying you the wages that we're paying some of the new guys, but come on, mate. Okay, good tackle from Galbraith. All ball. Archer. Nice. Easy as you, easy as you like. Easy passes. Gleason. I don't know. Wait, that was a little close, but okay. Um, Gleason takes a touch. He's going to try and curve it. I guess it was okay. We got some clapping. Somebody enjoyed it. Uh, Mallow. We'll bring on Wilkinson as a, like, super sub here. In... Right now. You've not done the job. Can you just go be a poacher? I That's probably not the best technical thing to be doing, but... Or tactical, I should say. You don't get sent off. Um... You know what? It's the end of the game. Let's go ahead and give a d d d d debut. Debu what footed are you, mate? I should probably know that. You know what? He's coming on. We're gonna put him on attack. We're gonna we're gonna last two minutes. Slightly more go for it. That smell that smells like a, a mistake, doesn't it? That's what you're thinking. You're like, don't do that. What are you doing? Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, we're doing it. We've almost got away with the nil nil. Let's go attacking with our central midfielder. Referee? Referee? Hello? Look at your watch. Okay, that's fine, Harry White. Okay, don't look at your watch. Don't, don't look at your watch. Keep on looking at the game. Oh, referee. That was a good tackle. I'm good with this result. Maybe it shouldn't be. We had one and a... Aside from the fact that Mallow Lane missed a, a Sitta, assuming it's not a match engine glitch. I, I think heading back away where you you get a goal and that's massive, I, uh, you know, great result. I think we say that. I agree. I agree, my friends. <sighs> oh, that's not good. Okay. Right. So, 
next time you see us, my friends, is going to hear. And I think that's going to be it. I don't think I need to show you the Dundee semifinal. I don't think that's exciting. Who cares? It's a couple tens of thousands of euros. But I think the, the big deal here is can we get to the next round? So we're just going to focus on that. If you enjoyed that episode, you know what to do. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Let's do this. Come on, boys. Gary Hayesworth will be back. Come on. Come on.